So there is the New Zealand side, Jason Batty, the goalkeeper, who should be a very busy man this evening. And he will be a very important player in this lineup with Danny Hay and maybe Harry Nata, who'll be playing up front of his own tonight, Ricky. A lot of noise coming from the far side of the field where the bulk of the Chilean supporters are. Here's Coveney. Apparently in outstanding form in the Australian Summer League and Coveney using his speed. And the first free kick of the night goes against Roja. Not a bad free kick. He's coming in! Oh, an outstanding save by Ramirez. But what a great run by Danny Hay. Barrera. Nice play into Acuna. Here's Nera. Pilar Roel. Looking for the head of Acuna. Batty had to come a long way and didn't get his fists on the ball, Jason Batty. Roja. Wilkinson does well to win it back, then gives it away again. Fighting hard for the ball, Gavin Wilkinson. The free kick has been given against the New Zealand player. Just here, Gavin, he just tried to play around the player. Just gets involved in just a, just a small scuffle off the ball, but uh, perhaps looks like he's got a wee worried look on his face, but uh, I'm certainly, he's, uh, I'm sure he's delighted. Best opportunity in the match so far has come from Danny Hay, but here's Barrera, just gets a yard of space, does well! Oh, and that was very, very close. But there are the danger signs. To give these Chileans just a yard of space, and they can be very dangerous indeed. Bit of space now for Vega. He's got Barrera and Nera in the box. This is looking for Barrera. But he can't get a good fist on it. This should be number one. Great play by Danny Hay. But I think the Chilean side have probably got a little bit more to offer. And there is the half time whistle. Zorosic with the deep corner, it's going a bit far. Vislic will keep it in play, though. Does well, Vislic. Wilkinson! Roja. Fuentes. This is Villaroel again. He's got plenty of players forward into a difficult position. And the flag's up for offside, though. It won't count. But Pereira just stole in front of Jason Batty, but the linesman's flag was up very quickly. And the all rights have played on with Coveney down the right-hand side has been given the job of taking the free kick. Sierra! Batty stood still. And Rea couldn't direct the header on goal. Well, Batty was flat-footed there as the ball came back off the crossbar. And Rea couldn't make the most of the opportunity. This is certainly the quality that you see coming out of South America and uh, fantastic free kick. Here's the first substitution for New Zealand, and it's uh, Chris Buchan coming on. And Harry Nata is the man being replaced. Nata has done a lot of work up front. Scott Smith to make his entry into the side. Here's Atkinson. Does well. This is Wilkinson. Still got the big man forward. Here's Harry. Another substitution for New Zealand board Coveney, who's run himself into the ground tonight. 
He's coming off, and he's been replaced by Paul Ilovic. Brian Precious looks at his watch. And there goes the final whistle. So a tremendous international result for the New Zealand soccer team at Ericsson Stadium this evening. Jason Batty has kept his goal intact. And New Zealand will go away satisfied with tonight's result as Joe McGrath shakes hand with former New Zealand coach John Atzed. New Zealand and Chile have fought out a scoreless draw here in front of what a big crowd at Ericsson Stadium. There is that result. New Zealand nil, Chile nil.